a great day. I love you. I love you, Naya. I love you, Naya. See you later, Ken. See you What's up y'all welcome back to another vlogmas this is vlogmas day don't remember girl it's vlogmas you been to forget by the time you made it to day three if you made it to day three con congratulations because y'all this is a job to say the least and my battery is about to die so i guess i'm gonna talk to y'all when i get to the crib because i did not bring an extra battery out Okay, so we're gonna try this again. So yeah, I'm back home. I changed my battery. I recorded a whole segment when I first walked in the house, but girl, talking for 10 minutes is not, I'm not doing it this video. So yeah, I dropped the kids off at school. It's currently like 10 something. Let me get my phone. It's 10.31. Dropped the kids off at school, decided to stop at Walmart because I needed some more coffee. Trying to stop myself from going to Starbucks, so I stopped at Walmart, got me some more coffee pots for the Keurig. And then I grabbed dinner tonight while I was out, might as well just get a head start. So tonight I'm going to cook shrimp fried rice. I'm not sure I showed y'all my way of cooking shrimp fried rice, not hard, but very simple and delicious. So my son had asked for it yesterday, so I'm like, hmm, I haven't cooked that in a minute, so we're going to cook that tonight. I grabbed a couple cleaning things for the house, some Lysol wipes, the Great Value brand. Girl, don't knock the Great Value brand until you try. They are way wetter than the Lysol. Wetter. That doesn't sound too right, but y'all know what I'm saying. It's, they are better than the Lysol brand to me in that aspect because, yeah. The my tea dry. Um, then I got me a strainer. The bake. I saw getting me a strainer. Not too long ago from Dollar General, looked like somebody scrubbed the flow with it. <laughs> Literally, he don't pay attention to stuff when he purchased things. Then I ended up getting um, from Walmart, walking down the center aisle, seeing this fleece blanket, nothing but four dollars. It's holiday themed. I thought it was perfect because the front room is just so new. Everything in this front area, the dining room, front room, kitchen, just everything just so neutral. So I'm like, why not throw a little color in this front and give it more of a holiday? No vibe. Number four dollars. So I grabbed that off impulse, and then I got a measuring cup, just the one cup, the glass measuring cup. Thinking about, it, I should have got the bigger one, but I'll go back and get get the bigger one. But I just know I just just didn't have no measuring cup and the type of rice I cook. I need a measuring cup. Then I seen this mug, and it was cute, and it just somewhat matched the little smaller mugs I got already, but. I love coffee and I be needing me, I make me big cups of coffee. So I don't know what's called my name. Y'all know I love cups. If you knew here, girl, that's my weakness, cups. Then I stopped at Dollar General, got the kids some little, uh, what's he called? Arts and crafts, a uh, snowman and a gingerbread. Just getting something to do when they get out of school because me and my babe, me and babe had came up with a rule in the house um, that after school, for the first three hours after school, no screen time. Try to keep their imagination, their creative side flowing and strong and on point. Because even as adults, when you as you grow, you need your imagination. You need your creative side. Because when you create, you know, when you're able to create effectively, that's where our greatness comes from. Um, and all this screen time just pulls the life out of you. Take away from your creative side, your imagination. So, anyway, story for another day, girl. Um, I ended up getting them a tree skirt. I had 
actually went to Walmart to look for the tree skirt, mini tree skirt, but they was all neutral colors. And I wanted it to be still kitty and colorful, like I was telling y'all in the previous couple vlogmas videos before the first couple vlogmas. So I called Dollar Tree while I was in Walmart and they told me they had some. Dollar Tree was right next door to Walmart. And they did. They had this one. And it was so befitting. It's a black Santa on here. And it's a ho ho ho. And different colors. And it just matched the vibe of their Christmas tree so much better than the ones they had at Walmart. Now they didn't have a star. My kids wanted the star. But I seen this colorful bow. And it just can go. So we're going to do that. Then my son wanted something gold on the tree. So I got gold garland. But yeah, that's all I got, girl. I'm finna sit here. I'm finna get up, clean off my dining room table, wipe down the kitchen counters, make me a cup of coffee, sit down, edit the video that goes up today. And yeah, your girl just was feeling a little bit weighed down yesterday and stressed. And I told you, I think I told y'all before that when I feel that way, I tend to shut down. So I try to try to catch myself from shutting down because it takes me days to get back moving. And just take a day back yesterday just from the thought of vlogging or uploading a video every day was just, I just was overthinking it. And it was just, I just felt pressured. So I did not upload a video yesterday because the day before yesterday I did not record anything. So yeah, we back on it today. Yeah, that's what we got going on. If you're new here, girl, hit the subscribe button. I would love to have you join the family. Nothing but good stuff and positivity goes on over here. And I am Ken or Kendra. Whichever you prefer to call me is perfectly fine with me. So, yeah, that's what I got going on. Let me go ahead and get some stuff started so I can get this video out to you guys. And I'll talk to y'all a little bit later. Okay, y'all. So, I just left Target. I left the house really quick. Babe, did not feel like going to the shop so late and then having to turn around and come back at three to pick up the kids from the bus stop. Um, but I ran to Target to take back that uh, footed tray and the uh, tree skirt, the tree collar that did not fit on the kids tree in their room. Um, I'm on my way back home. My sister just called me because she just be pulling up child. She just don't text, don't call. Well, sometimes she do, but a lot of times she don't. She just try to surprise me, just pull up. And a lot of times I don't be at the house. But it's crazy because any other time she don't, I'm at home doing nothing. So I'm on my way back to the house. It's currently like 2, no, it's 1.55, almost 2. Y'all, I didn't bought this shark mop. I showed y'all already. Y'all seen me unbox it. And it's not even working. It won't stain. I don't know if I was being thirsty and left a piece of paper on the handle. This part right here. Before I stuck it in. Because when you push down on it, it's not like a little lever thing to push the water reservoir down. It's not, it's not, it's not pushing. So, I don't know. Babe's gonna try to fix it when I get home, but I'm, when he get home. But I'm thinking ready to cook. I decided to um, cook some chicken fried rice too for my sister because my sister and her boyfriend because they don't eat shrimp. So, I'm gonna cook shrimp fried rice and chicken fried rice. Ooh! And of course my son, I'm gonna find something to put on his door handle. If anybody knows something I can put right here that won't look too tacky, so it won't keep hitting the, the wall. Child, because I ain't gonna have no wall by the time we get done with it. Um, but yeah, let me go ahead and cook. I'm show y'all exactly what I'm doing. So, okay, so you guys, to start off, we're gonna go ahead and cook the rice. I use parboiled rice instead of five minute rice because it cooks way better, and you can kind of like skip past the fact of overcooking it and the rice turned out mushy it cooks way better than five minute rice so anywho cooking the rice after the rice is cooked we're going to go ahead and put the rice in the freezer because the rice needs to be chilled in order to fry it 
and then you guys want to see me next prep the chicken i bought this chicken from Publix. it was already pre-diced but it was still a little bit too big so i went ahead on and chopped it up a little bit more Okay, now, so once I get done chopping up the chicken, I'm going to go ahead and throw it in the pan, base my pan with a little bit of olive oil, and then I'm going to season it. Now, I use just the basic seasonings. I use onion powder, garlic powder, black pepper, chili powder, smoked paprika, um, a tad bit of soy sauce, literally just a tad because we're going to use soy sauce for the rice, so you don't want to make it too salty, a little bit of chicken bouillon flavoring, and I'm going to also use some mince garlic after that we're going to go ahead and stir it up put the lid on it and let it cook until the chicken is nice and done and tender Okay, so I did not show you guys me cooking the rice with this chicken fried rice because my sister and her boyfriend does not care for the eggs. So I want to show you guys how I prepped it for us because we like the eggs. So I just mixed the chicken in with the rice without the chicken flavoring juice that the chicken created. And there's the chicken fried rice. Pretty good. So the next uh, clip you guys want to see is me cooking the rice for the shrimp fried rice. The pan, I did not clean it out. I just left the seed, dry seasonings from me cooking the shrimp. And at the oil, y'all, the oil have to be extremely hot before you start to fry your rice. So let it get pretty hot. Go ahead and crack your egg, however many eggs you want. And Throw in your rice. Now you don't like you don't need to put too much rice in at a time. So you if you got a lot of rice, you cook for a big family, cook it in batches. And you just throw soy sauce in there according to taste. And yeah, a little bit of chicken flavoring. And that's it. <sighs> my my camera always finna die. Every time I decide to turn on the vlog. But this is the end of this video, y'all. I ain't did much today, nothing at all. But what y'all seen, me talking y'all ears off. Like I was saying, y'all, for my camera just really that on me. I'm not doing, I ain't been doing nothing all day, but sitting here being a bum with my little sister. Uh, y'all seen me make the rice. Didn't turn out as well as, I mean, it was good, but um, this girl up here watching soccer. <laughs> but why ain't nobody let me know the soccer players was this fan? Oh, I know him. You yeah. know you know him? You know him? That boy. Yeah. I know him. Like I was saying, um, the rice turned out pre found it. Who money I finna steal? You finna steal my son money? Huh. This girl trying to get banned from my house. Um the rice turned out okay. I kind of knew how it was going to turn out. I didn't have no wok pan. So the proper way to, of cooking fried rice, fried rice is in a wok pan where the oil can be evenly heated up and it can evenly fry the... This girl rude. Ah. Wait, wait, wait. Come on, Ethan. All right. Mama. Push it in, all right. Mama. Dang, don't pull me back. And where it can evenly fry the rice. And if the oil not hot enough, it can cause the rice to not fry, but soak up the oil and kind of have like more of a mushy, not mushy, but depending on what kind of rice you cook. If you cook like five minute rice, yeah, it was going to be mushy. Because I cooked parboiled rice, it gave it more of a... Oh, it was overdone. It like an overdone texture. I speaking of rice, I did not show y'all how the uh, shrimp fried rice look. I think I'm gonna show y'all. But yeah, that's how they just did. Uh, I was supposed to finish organizing the clothes, but this is the end of this video. Yes, I'm trying to finish to put my. Well, it's not 8:30. What time it is? 9:30. So yeah, I'm gonna put my kids to bed. I will talk to y'all. 
in the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Y'all want some lipstick? Here. Just, just get him some lipstick. Ah! Don't put. Um, but if you made it to the end of this video and you're not subscribed, girl, what are you doing with your life? Hit the subscribe button, join the family. I would love to have you. And yeah, I will talk to y'all tomorrow.